This is the 2023 Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3i Chromebook Gen 8, a bit of a mouthful. It's a clamshell 14 inch Chromebook with specs decent enough to make this particular model a Chromebook Plus. In this video, I'll take you through all you need to know about it, as well as the good and bad spec variations in this eighth generation series to watch out for. I'll also show you some similar Chromebooks you should compare against this one if you're thinking about buying. I've had this since Monday, so wanted to give you guys my first impressions. If you follow me on X, you may have seen my posts from last Friday. I paid just £190, that's about $240 US dollars, for this as a grade B refurb. As I record and hopefully post this on Wednesday 31st of January, the listing I purchased from is now sold out and the grade A listing only shows one available, so I'm not quite sure what's happened there. It'd be worth checking back as there were over 200 available even up to last night. However, if you want to go brand new for not too much more, it's the last day of the 20% off voucher on eBay UK, making the 256 gig storage model with the backlit keyboard brand new from AO's eBay store, about £226 after the discount. I'll leave the item numbers in the pinned comment or check my posts on X. To be clear, I'm not affiliated to either of these sellers. Even as a grade B refurb, this came in the original box and it had zero battery cycles. The unboxing was as usual straightforward, the usual paper paperwork you're probably not going to read and then the 45 watt USB-C charger although some models come with a 65 watt version and then of course the Chromebook itself. The colour is called Storm Grey and this one weighs in at 1.48 kg so that's about 3.27 pounds. Not too bad for a 14 inch Chromebook but is a little bit more than the Acer Chromebook 314 with very similar specs that I showed you on the channel at the start of the year. I'm also not sure on the slim in the name, it's not overly chunky but it's not what I'd call slim either. On the lid you've got the Chromebook Plus branding and this one has a two-tone grey colour to it. It's an aluminium lid which helps it feel a bit more premium with a plastic build for the rest of the Chromebook but it does feel very rigid in a reassuring way. I really like the rounded corners, all four of them, they just make handling the Chromebook a lot nicer and help with the overall look of this one. With the grey colour and solid build I'd say it feels pretty purposeful but just looks a little corporate. To give you the headline specs that make this particular model a Chromebook Plus, it's got the Intel Core i3 N305 processor, 8GB of DDR5 RAM, 128GB of eMMC 5.1 storage, a full HD IPS screen and a full HD webcam. Taking a look around the device, on the left hand side we've got a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port for power data and display out, a full size USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port and a headphone microphone combo jack. Then over on the right hand side we've got a second full size USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, an HDMI port and a Kensington Nano port. So keep in mind no card reader and no second USB-C port here. I understand we often see the trade of an HDMI port instead of a second USB-C port on most budget to mid-range Chromebooks, but leaving out the micro SD card slot too feels like a bit of a cut corner. A USB-C hub, for example, like the one from Tobin One I showed on the channel last year could solve this issue if you're happy with that setup. I'll link the video in this one's description. It's Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.1 compatible, but note there's a few models in this range with a MediaTek Wi-Fi card, and that's just listed as Wi-Fi 6 rather than 6E. If you do want to check the full spec of any Lenovo in detail, do see the linked video in the description of this this one. On the bottom of the Chromebook we've got the grill for the processor's fan on the back corner, two drain holes for the spill resistant keyboard on either side around the middle point and then the two speakers at the front long edge on either side. It's not great positioning if you're using the Chromebook on your lap but otherwise from my brief use of the Chromebook at my desk they get loud enough and the quality is so-so but it would have been nice to see these up on the keyboard deck firing sound upward. However I think the trade-off here is the spill resistant keyboard design which probably wouldn't have been possible with the speakers on the keyboard deck. Opening the Chromebook up, it's a clamshell design and the screen goes back 180 degrees. The keyboard is well spaced and features keys with what I'd describe as a medium travel and a fairly firm feel to them, which makes for a decent typing experience. This model variant I have doesn't have the backlit keyboard, but there are options that do include that, so watch out for those. The trackpad is nice to use, fairly firm and responsive to both taps and clicks. When I received this one it was actually a little loose, if you watch the channel you'll know that's not the first time. It was pretty easy to get inside and adjust this one thankfully, but if you experience something similar just return yours for a replacement.
The 14 inch screen is one of the strongest points of this Chromebook. It's full HD, IPS with a matte finish and a claimed brightness of 300 nits. It certainly gets nice and bright and the colours look really good. There are some models that have touchscreens too but also there are some variations that have a display that's just HD, a TM panel rather than IPS and they're less bright. I'd avoid those ones. Whilst the bezels aren't non-existent it's good to see Lenovo's kept their size in check and that's helped with the overall footprint of the device too. At the top of the screen is the full HD webcam on this model along with the privacy slider. Keep in mind some models have an HD 720p camera and those of course won't have the Chromebook Plus update. As you'd rightly expect with this one being a Chromebook Plus model, performance from boot up to general use with several tabs and multiple users as well as some light gaming is seeming great. Keep in mind not all model specs across this Slim 3i model line will meet the Chromebook Plus spec. For example, they may have the N100 or N200 processor instead of the Core i3. And there are also some 4GB of RAM models as well as some of the other product variations I've already covered. I'll show a reminder to the Chromebook Plus requirements on screen now. Regardless of the processor choice, all 8th gen IdeaPad Slim 3i models will see Chrome OS updates to the AUE date of June 2033 and all will be running 64-bit Chrome OS. If you're considering this Chromebook and want to review the competition, the internal specs are very similar to two other Chromebooks I showed on the channel recently, the Acer Chromebook 314 and the HP Chromebook 15A, and the HP has the Chromebook Plus update. I'll link the videos on those in this one's description. I've been using this Lenovo at my desk with my pluggable dock too, I'll link it in the description. As expected, I could successfully run extended monitors across my two Full HD monitors whilst using the Slim 3i's display as a third. All peripherals worked as expected too. The Slim 3i comes with a 57 watt hour battery and whilst it's too early for me to comment on battery life, under Google's power load test Lenovo claim it's a max battery life of 11 hours with the Core i3 N305 like I have and up to 14 hours with the M100 or N200 processors. It also supports rapid charge and you can get to 80% in one hour if you have the 65 watt charger. When I've been pushing things a little I've certainly noticed the fan kicking in, although it's really not too loud and heat hasn't been much of an issue for my brief use so far. Let me know what you think of this Slim 3i in the comments and in the meantime here's another Chromebook video from the channel for you to check out.